In this video, we show the benefits of the Kingfisher Flex instrument using Invitrogen Dynabeads magnetic beads, performing an automated reproducible immunoprecipitation in only 40 minutes. The protocol consists of seven processing steps, where each step is defined by one plate in the Kingfisher instrument. The initial step is to prepare seven plates containing dynabeads, antibodies for target capture, washing buffer, sample, washing buffers, and elution buffer. Dynabeads are resuspended in the vial to a homogeneous suspension to ensure high reproducibility when performing IP. Proper mixing can be visually inspected, showing an evenly distributed brownish color. The first plate is prepared by transferring 50 microliters of resuspended dynabeads to each well. When performing many IP simultaneously using several rows on the plate, make sure to mix the vial of dynabeads between the transfers to each row. This ensures an even amount of beads are loaded to each well. The second plate is loaded with antibodies for target capture. Due to the smooth surface of the beads, the antibody consumption is very low, thereby minimizing cost while exploiting the full capture potential of the antibody. Typically, less than 10 micrograms of antibodies are used per 50 microliters of dynabeads for each sample. Titration of the antibody is strongly recommended to achieve good target capture with minimal background. Remember, the quality of the antibody is essential to achieve a good IP. The protocol includes three washing steps, one after antibody binding and two after target capture. The protocol is designed for 200 microliters of target sample. The final step is the elution. The prepared plates are now ready to be loaded onto the instrument. You can use the standard 40-minute protocol as is or easily modify it and save your own custom versions with the user-friendly Bindit software. Loading the plates is easy and Kingfisher will tell you which plate to load into each position. Load the tip combs and the seven plates in sequence. When all plates are loaded, press Start to initiate the IP protocol. The tip combs are used together with the magnetic rods to collect the dynabeads. Then, the beads are moved to the next plate containing the antibody while the metal shield under the tip combs prevents cross-contamination between wells. The beads are first released in the antibody solution with fast mixing. Then, the tip combs are moved slowly up and down to keep the dynabeads in suspension during the 10-minute antibody binding step. After incubation, the beads are transferred to the washing solution and mixed gently to remove unbound antibody. Gentle mixing is preferred to avoid loss of antibody and reduced target capture capacity. The standard protocol is designed for 10-minute target isolation. However, the binding kinetics is strongly dependent on the antibody-antigen interaction and may be optimized for each antibody-antigen pair. Low, nonspecific binding is achieved due to the unique properties of the dynabeads and the efficient washing by the Kingfisher instrument. In the final step, the target is gently released during a 10-minute elution. Alternatively, the built-in heating block can be used to release the target under denaturing conditions. The release target can be collected from the plate and transferred directly to the gel for downstream western blotting. To see how Kingfisher and Dynabeads can standardize your results and accelerate your science, visit thermofisher.com kingfisher.